Hey guys, so today I'm gonna basically show you how to get royalty free graphics, images, or stuff for your designs. And uh, so the word royalty free, let's start with that. It's just not royalty free, like as you can see. On Google, when you search royalty free, there are many, many websites. And uh, most of you already know about royalty free stuff, like searching royalty free images, royalty free sounds, whatever it is, just like this one royalty free PNG images for commercial use. I, I've searched this. Because PNGs are transparent and uh, you can use them for logos too. So anyway, let's just move to the actually. Let's just study about this royalty free. Like you can when you know the keywords, you can find much more than just uh, just mainstream things. Okay. So let's just go to the next search. Next search that I have done is create a Commons license, CC license. Many people know about CC licenses. Because YouTube has this feature and uh, CC license is Creator Commons. Anything which has Creator Commons license, you can use it, you can change it, and you can use it for commercial purposes too. So these are basically CC licenses. Okay. So as far as these licenses, this these licenses goes, you have to just know one thing, and that is that whenever you use them, some of some graphics allow these. Some don't like, uh, for example, even if you do have CC license, you cannot demean those graphics. You cannot use them in a way where they are, you know, have some negative connotation with them. So anyways, let's go to the next one. And that is public domain. Public domain, whenever you search public domain, you will find way more stuff than royalty free, believe it or not, because many websites don't use public domain as their keyword for search engines. So let's go, let's search public domain. I'm going to show you an example how to search something in a public domain stuff. Like let's say public domain. Whenever you put public domain, you you have CC license, you have CC0 license as I have pointed out here. CC0, create a common license also called CC0. And uh, you can, whenever you search public domain, it's a CC0 license. So I'm going to search for CC public domain, vintage, Images, illustration, ads, posters, flower images. Let's search vintage ads. So these are basically vintage ads and all these ads are in public domain. So when you search for them, let's just go on images and uh, you will see one thing or oh, this. So you can, everything you see here is in public domain. So you can use them directly on your t-shirt. You don't even have to change t-shirt or whatever you are trying to create. You don't have to do anything with these images. You can directly put them on your graphics. So all these images are in public domain, all these images. And you can check that too by basically, hold on, learn more. It's saying it's subject to copyright. One second, let me just check if everything that we have searched, let's just open this website, public domain pictures. So Google may not directly show that, but the license is CC0 public domain. So you can use, let's, let's just read it. CC0 public domain, vintage advertising sign under public domain license. It means that you can use and modify it for your personal and commercial projects. If you intend to use an image you find here for commercial use, please be aware that some require modified model or a property release. This one is public public domain. This one is CC0. So you can actually read this and just public domain pictures.net. So if you want, you can get images from here. And let's just check the quality of this image. Let's just see if the quality is good or not. So it will be 10 cents. They are trying to sell a public domain image. And now that's not a good, that's, that's not something that they should do and for real. So let's just not check this. Let's check other websites. Public domain ads, public domain images, quick monkey, vintage, free illustrations. Let's check out this. So the one thing that, hold on, where the website go? Okay. So the one thing I've learned after doing research on this topic is there are so many websites that you will never have shortage of any kind of graphics, any kind of creative stuff. So it's loading. Let's shut this website down. So all these websites, like all these vintage illustrations, these are basically, these are all public domain, copyright, copyright free. These are all public domain. And there is one more way to search for these things. So let me show you. Google will give, tell you the license on this, this type of search too. 
so just go let's just search here public domain vintage car this was my previous search so let's just go with this one let's go to images hold on so it's and it's open let's go to tools usage rights you go to usage rights and go for creative commons so now google is basically telling us that these are in creative commons licensable 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 so these are in creative commons google is basically giving us now make sure that whenever you search anything on google and it says creative commons just go on the website and check it again and uh, you can just do direct searches too when you basically just put creative commons user as users right you have to change it again and again so just always remember that don't forget that because uh, then you because uh, licenses in graphics is a big thing like it, not just in graphic in any creative you know, just you don't want that so anyways and uh, most of the time when you use these graphics when you use anywhere just check the license and you'll be good like uh, some people have doubts with Canva, can, can people can use graphics in Canva and I'm getting off topic and I will I will open Canva so let's just talk about a little bit of Canva stuff. Okay, it's opening. So many people have their doubts regarding Canva like uh, can we use Canva graphics on our, on our you know print on demand stuff. You can, you can use Canva graphics. It has one design license because Canva don't want people to just copy their graphics and post it every time. Like you you have to make significant changes you cannot just take their graphic and use it everywhere and that will that will create a lot of copies and uh, the creative outlet will be gone so we don't want that the creativity has to be there that's just one license means it is one time use with license means it's just it's nothing it's nothing to complicate it so just always remember that because there are many people who have doubts can we use canva you can use you can use canva pro, pro the pro, pro graphics too you don't have to worry about nothing okay so let's go back to our vintage cars so let's search for vintage ads because i love vintage ads like whenever i see them like you can literally put any of these ads on any t-shirt and if, believe it or not they will start selling now here is a small problem that i have seen like uh, whenever we go with vintage ads and uh, okay this is look this is what i was saying every time you search you have to change this you have to change this like always remember that because licensable it has written licensable and always check this licensable and what does licensable mean let's check okay it's from pixabay we already know what pixabay stands for so let's go for license details creator commons creator commons license let's check this look at this it is so nice now the size is not very ideal for these so wikipedia creator commons so you you don't even have to search anywhere just go on go on google and change to creator commons vintage ads are always good you can go for one one more type of vintage uh, mm, let's see hold on vintage whatever let's see vintage photos let's see aesthetic let's see and uh, aesthetic like oh oh my look at these images they are so nice she jesus okay let's see uh all these images now they are in creative commons so you can use this they are from pixabay even and they you can use these images directly my recommendation is even when you go with these images just make sure that you do your necessary changes like because uh, you know it's just a personal opinion of mine that don't use images directly just because you can because uh, because that just takes out the fact that print on demand or any of these you know kdp or all these output people are working so hard for creating great designs and it's just the right thing to do actually okay just a search for retro and uh, retro and create a commons so Google Google search for Creative Commons, commercial and other license. Creative Commons are good. Commercial licenses, commercial and other licenses. Let's just search for commercial license too. Licensable, 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 Shutterstock. So these are the ones. So always, whenever you search for them, 
go for public domain whenever you search for public domain you will be good to use them so let's just search a little bit more public domain public domain wikipedia has a great collection of public domain wikipedia i remember because wikipedia has okay you can you can actually search for images from directly from google and you will see wikipedia popping up here and there with their public public domain image database okay so let's go for public domain images images and uh, pixels unsplash so they are actually using public domain in their keyword which is really good so uh, let's go for public domain i like the vintage stuff so let's just go to vintage posters let's let's check out vintage posters let's go on images let's search for the tool go for this create a commons so you can use these images directly and you can always check and always check the license if you have any doubts like uh, let's just click on this image and i'm going to show you how to basically check the licenses okay so here you go all the image from the national archives poster size should be unrestricted according to our information provider please do not attribute image in tng news okay you may say why have engineers but you may also we are serving is a free photo service not a creator we should attribute the photographer in national archives they did so this guy whoever has uploaded this okay so this is in public domain you can use these images directly now one thing that i pointed out before is whenever you use these images you do not alter them in a way that they demean or change the message don't do that always just keep it as is and uh, you will be fine or if you want to do something just uh, you know clean them up and just make them look nicer maybe boost up the colors make some clear clarity change clean them up do not do not do anything that will you know change the message or anything like that because that's just first of all whoever has created it and now it's in public domain his intention was not that the license expired so anyways i'm not going to be talking about it because okay let's just go for vintage comics because i love comics i hope some of the viewers do too so let's see comicplus.com so this is the website vintage comics so these are in public domain and you can check this as uh, uh, let's check if they are in public domain or not where do we have one second the mission of comicplus is completely free of charge and widest possible free of charge and the aim house only content in public domain if you suspect of material infringing copyright please use okay so house only public domain so these are basically in public domain you can literally take any image from here and put it on your t-shirt or on your glass or whatever on your glass and stuff so it's so simple it's so simple so nice you can put a just quote or something down there just whatever <laughs> like i don't know just do something creative always remember to do something great and i can show you if you want me to i can show you just to, just to write down anything let's say okay i'm going to take this image i'm going to show you how i would change something okay so what are they saying is this they want me to log in or anything like that okay okay so anyway let's just go back to our search primary site of going over there free download online viewing freely in lively for lively forum free public domain you can do this one too it is basically saying public domain whenever you read public domain you don't have to worry about the copyright stuff because they are there is a reason why it's called public domain okay so let's go let's check out this one these comics they are so nice so whatever you want to search you can search like grand slam let's check out grand slam what happened mm. basically i clicked on that and okay uh, just Let's click on other one. Let us download. Choo choo. Let's see. So thrilling comics. Comics. Let's see the preview. Let's just on the preview. Look at the quality. Who? Look at them prints. If okay, we're just basically saying to disable the. and i get it they they are not trying to make money with the content at least let them show the ads so 
I can I can understand. Look at these prints. You can use these prints directly on your t-shirt. You don't have to worry about that. And you can just create a collection of these. Like just create a collection, comic collection. And just put the images on cups and on your t-shirts and stuff. And people will look at it and they'll be like, oh, wow. Because not necessarily people are looking for someone who can create these. And somebody, and you can just write them down. Like you, you don't have to say that you have created it. And please don't say that. that because that's just a lie. Do one thing. Just write in the description whenever you upload with the graphics from here or anywhere, like from any place where you have used some images where, from public domain, just make sure that you say that I have got this image from public domain and uh, now I'm using this on my graphic and uh, that's it. That's it. And uh, thanks for the creator for putting that into CC0 license or public domain and just whatever you want to write, just make sure that you give credit to the people who have created the design and uh, that's it. That's all there is to it. Let's just check out some next other ones too. Let's just see. Okay, so this is a page. This is a side. Okay, let's let's just move to the next one. Mm, so now it's basically showing me ads. Eh, but for them, for them, they can show it. Now these images, you you need to clean them up. You need to clean these images up. And uh, I can show you how I would do these, do the cleaning. This this is not necessarily the best one. We can search some other ones because, quite frankly, I'm enjoying this website. Like, and I hope you guys are enjoying this too because you guys can do the searches on the side. Like, just open another tab and do your searches too. So you can the Amazing Man comics. Let's just search for the preview. And make sure that don't edit these, like once again, I'm saying this, this don't edit these images in a way that they doesn't look like, you know, these comics, they, they don't, they should not look like you have done something to just alter the basic message or alter them so badly that they look not even, not even acceptable. So anyways, let's see. So let's just open the link in the new tab and uh, okay. So how do you download this? Um, open image in new tab. So let's see how we can clean them up a little bit because quite frankly, these are, these looks okay. And uh, I'm going to drop them here. The image size is 1920 to 2708. Okay. It's not the biggest but it looks okay so let's just okay let's do one thing let me do one thing before we can move forward i'm going to increase the brightness of my system so i can at least for some reason the system is acting very weird okay so let's see we are going to go to color boost and it will look at this look how nice now <laughs> now this thing looks like totally different like and i can show you by disabling it too just let's, let me show you again when you disable this it looks kind of foggy and uh, when you put this so while you can use any of them i'm going to start with color boost So color boost looks nice and I'm going to put electric filter too. So now this, look at this and I'm going to increase the sharpness. So sharpness. So now this is basically the amazing man. Now look at this. Looks so nice. Now there are certain things like you can change, you can remove these and uh, the way basically what we can do here is you can test out different filters now the software i'm using is photopad by nch and uh, okay let's just do it one more time electric filter electric filter boosts up these blue colors these blue and these colors so it looks really nice okay oh no. and uh, then we are going to go to uh, tools uh, retouch focus fix So this is this looks 
good but uh, it can look better it can look better let's let's just zoom in let's see how it... so these these colors if you want you can i think you should touch them up because uh, or you can crop them out Simp you can just do one thing okay let me show you um or you can just simply crop them out uh where is the crop cropping here you go so we are going to use a custom size we are going to portrait and this and we are going to go with custom and we are going to go to apply let's see hold on one more time okay apply now you don't even have to crop out the images i mean uh, crop out the <laughs> now you don't even have to do touch up the edges and stuff now i basically cropped out the whole thing now whatever you do you can you can do many things this is in cc0 you don't have to worry about the fact that okay so i basically just cut out the edges as you can see so this is these are simple things you can do and there are other ways to touch them up and i will i will just release a tutorial on how to touch touch up the images in a proper like look at this this was the original and this is our oh my god look at the difference look at the difference this was the original this is ours it looked like it made like today like the colors look really bright it looks really nice so anyways you can do many things you can do many different things with these images and with these graphics whatever you want to do and uh, it's just it is it is what it is and it took me like 2 minutes to basically do this whole thing hardly 2 minutes okay so this is all there is to it on touching up images and using and cc0 licenses and search for anything whenever you search want any graphic just go for public domain space search for any comics and people have searched comics and stuff vintage ads vintage comics whatever whatever you want to do whatever you want to do you can do them and uh, you will be good using those images are absolutely legal you don't have to worry about getting sued sued or copyrighted or anything like that because you can always tell them you can always search for the for the public image and do one more thing one extra tip really important one whenever you create a t-shirt whenever you create a graphic just store them somewhere in a cloud and put the domain name where you got it from just put the domain name put the link where you got it from and save it as, as image there and then save a note file with that so what will happen is even if you like some day if, if by chance anybody like comes and say okay this image belongs to me or whatever you can always point them to the website do this and i will show you how to do this okay so let's say we want to use this okay so i'm going to save this save as i'm going to save as comic okay so i have saved the image now let's save i'm going to go to my downloads folder and i'm going to create a new folder and i will show you so so we basically put this here and then we are going to do this uh, where do we got the image from so this was the image so we copy the url one properties you can either put it here in the comment and apply this and what will happen is whenever people whenever you copy this image to wherever unless you don't remove the metadata you will always have this image source and you can do one more thing if if you don't feel like okay i i will not be able to remember that i have saved it there just write image source and we, we the document is opening this save and do one more thing 
the image name is amazing man okay let me see if we can get uh, the name the name is amazing man amazing man comics so you can just take this name and uh, use this too the amazing man comics or whatever or just the link will be sufficient link will be more than sufficient you don't have to worry about nothing after that so let's just open this let's see how it looks after the whole rendering it looks nice it looks nice i mean if anybody put this on a t-shirt and uh, i may buy this i mean it looks nice uh, the colors look nice the t-shirt will look nice or cup or whatever you want to put it on so that's all there is to it that's all there is to it and uh, yeah so that's for the tutorial we talked about cc0 we talked about uh, how to find the images we talked about canva license we talked about how to touch up these images not necessarily i haven't touched up that well i mean i'm not necessarily 100 percent satisfied but i have changed this image from this to this so i think i think uh, it looks okay in comparison so that's all for this video and uh, thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe and like i need those subscribers to go to, you know to basically develop this channel and to send these videos to more and more people and uh, develop the a community around this and i will keep sharing my research and whatever i find something new whenever i find something new and uh, thanks for watching thank you very much